and then feet on the floor. and happy November 1st. Today was a really busy day. Um, we did some tumbling, went to the gym today. Basically just getting back in the routine of having my son again. And it is currently six o'clock, so I'm about to make some dinner. Let me show y'all what I got. I got from the store first. Just restocking on my soap. Yeah. I had left my toothbrush in New York, so I got a new one. And then I used to get all kinds of Eskim salts, but now I only get the dead sea salt, which is rich in natural minerals. And it doesn't have all that processed stuff in it. It literally only says, play with them, then you can walk away. Okay. Yep. And that's fine. You do that. Let me show y'all what I'm making for dinner. So I got... Everything that I need, walnuts, cornbread, got the egg replacer, a whole bunch of sun-dried tomatoes, got some chickpea pasta, some fresh basil I found on sale for $2, y'all. That was a steal. I love me some fresh basil. Barbecue sauce and baby bella mushrooms. so good like I really outdid myself the first time I made my own vegan meat and it's a 10 out of 10 
It is Thursday at 5 o'clock and we just barely made it to the library. I'm super happy we were able to get some books. This 50 words, up to 50 words is right in his lane. I think the age group is 4 to 5 or something like that. So we got one that has 50 words, a super animated book which he loves to read at night. And then just some super cute animated books. Getting him back into his routine makes so much, it makes it so much easier when he has a routine. So basically his routine consists of dinner time, bath time, story time, bedtime and i'll probably end up doing everything in depth in a whole different video a whole separate video at some point on my channel but today has been very productive i got everything done on my list checked off the paperwork that needed to be turned in laundry tomorrow is my hair appointment that's why i've been rocking this hat for all week long but i guess you guys will just kind of see a little bit how things go for the rest of the night and then I'll see you guys in the morning. right now I just got home from getting my hair done as you guys can see I'll probably insert a clip right now my head is a little bit hurting because my hair is kind of tight but this is just a quick little something that you guys can see um, I'm going out tonight so I'm just making a quick little something to eat which is the plant-based chili I have not eaten since breakfast which was at like 11. I'm just putting this on the stove top real quick with some um I'll probably eat this with some goldfish and for the kids I'm going to be making some cake and tater tots 
and then they're going to go to my mom's house while I enjoy a thorough needed. I know. While I enjoy a girl's night out. Mommy. What? I see. She's watching TV. She's watching a movie. I am a little bit tired right now. Um, I think it's really just because my hair is so tight. But I will be well rested in a couple hours. It's five, practically five, and I plan on leaving here about eight o'clock. See you guys later. So if you guys see like little chunks, as you can see, like on my, in certain areas on the mask, I haven't done this mask in so long, like at least two years, at least two years. So yeah, I decided to infuse it with some dead sea salt for the minerals that it's rich in. And because I haven't been really taking good care of my face, as you guys can see, hence why I'm putting the mask on, you will see that my face really needs some TLC, some minerals. So I decided to put the sea salt in it for that reason. And while I'm letting this sit for about 15 minutes, I'm actually going to be nearing. My nair is right here. I don't have no razors. I was going to just shave, but since I don't have the razors, I'm just going to nair tonight. I'm kind of excited, you know? I used to go all the time by myself in Dallas, Texas when I stayed out there and would not hesitate or think twice to go the fuck out by myself. But out here, it's just so different. It's like... I'm waiting for my friends. I don't want to go alone. I don't even know how I was thugging it out like that, honestly. In Texas, but I had the time of my life. Every single time. And when I went with people, I actually didn't enjoy myself as much. <sighs> Some things I needed to heal through. And since I have been able to do that, it's like, okay. This mask is looking really, really good. Like, real good. I'm putting a thick layer on because I assume it's going to extract more. So, yeah. Yep. And actually, since my skin is not looking so hot, I'm going to do right here as well. Just to kind of make it do what it do. And I don't want to waste any product, so... Let me put the rest of it right here and just letting it sit. I'll probably end up just getting in the shower to nair, to rinse the nair off and everything, but this is looking really, really good. I'm excited for the results. I should have done it before and after, but mm -mm, not right now. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. I hope y'all can see my skin clear. I am, I was so excited to wash this shit off my face and show y'all bare face that I jumped out the shower, but I did not press record. I actually sprayed some of my rose oil, not rose oil, like my rose astringent on my face right after. And I don't know, I just feel like some of my marks kind of faded, like they're not as raised. This one was super, super dark. I can barely see it now. And I just love that for my skin. I definitely notice a difference because I would not be getting this close to the camera and feeling disconfident. But another thing I noticed when I jumped out the shower, there was not a lot of water on the floor. And I think it's because I don't have any hair on my legs. I did near. And just observing that we are hairy. Now I love to use natural products and I'm still looking for a natural product that I could like DIY or double down on to also get the job done as far as removing 
like hair from my body. Thank you.